Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Dirt Road Grocery Store. Today we'd like to show you about a couple of knives we ordered. Uh, today's our wedding anniversary, and we like to go with the theme of years and gifts associated with that. Uh, this year was steel, so we both got custom knives made for each other. Um, you, you got custom knives made for each other. I got custom knives made for each other. <laughs> I had decided uh, a couple months back, actually, to commission this uh, knife maker online. Um, I've seen his work on Facebook, on GON. Um, so a few years ago, his name's Scott Davidson, Rock Solid Knives. Um, he had actually shown a picture of a knife he did where he embedded a turkey feather in the handle, in an acrylic handle. Um, Rob loves to turkey hunt, so I decided I needed to have one done for him for our anniversary. Um, so Scott developed this knife, and Rob likes a rounded blade for skinning and everything. So uh, I had Scott do this one. I kind of left the entire thing up to Scott. He sent me the picture after it was done, and I mean, it was great. It was amazing. I like the knife. Uh, so then... Fast forward a couple months, anniversary time, Scott posted some more knives that he was getting ready to sell, and then I pretty much told Rob which one I wanted. Um, so, I have a little pairing knife that Scott made. And I like it, especially because it, the, it's nice and slim, fits my hand great, um, I can do a lot of stuff in the kitchen with it, I can take it to the woods. We like to mushroom hunt for choice edibles, um, so it's just really, it's small, handy, um, really good grip. It's got a solid feel to it. The sheath, um, I like the type of sheath it is because you can put it on your belt and kind of wear it sideways and it doesn't really take up much room. You can kind of hide it with a shirt. What it's kind of material out. is it made out of? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think he makes the most of them out of CPM 154 stainless. Um, they're just really good, high quality knives. Um, I've always wanted something from Scott ever since I uh, got onto GON and Facebook and saw his knives. They're just really pretty. Um, he does individual knives. You can get a whole set for the kitchen. Um, I mean, they're just nice. He'll make you just about anything you want. Um, and he's He's reasonably priced for a handcrafted knife. Uh, he makes the sheaths out of leather. He stamps it. Um, he's got a stamp on the blade, too. This knife is a horizontal carry. Uh, carry on the belt. So I don't know if it's safety carry. <clears throat> I asked for that specifically. Uh, I guess this is more standard that he makes. I guess most people like carrying knives like that. I like to carry a knife on a horizontal carry because I can hide it under my shirt. And you can carry a full length uh, fixed blade knife on your belt. It doesn't get hung up getting out of the car and stuff. And I didn't think about that when I was having your knife made. Uh, I was more concerned about the blade and the handle with the turkey feather in it. I'm not complaining. This knife specifically, uh, I probably won't carry very much. Uh, because most of the time in uh, Georgia, it, I use bug spray. And bug spray is a belt this handle. We just don't want to risk messing it up. Um, yeah, it, it's, really it's something he would carry all the time, but for fear of messing up that really pretty acrylic handle and all the, the work Scott put into it. Carry it all the time. Well, this is a skinning knife. The, this, this blade type, uh, is it Alaskan Knife Company or Bart River? I forget. Anyway, uh, they call, I think they call it a bus pad or something. But this, this blade type, you can get it down in between the hide and just zip them right open. It's uh, a lot more efficient than... <laughs> Rex, Rex, See, honestly, you're son, the you, camera. You literally, I said, be quiet and don't shake anything, and you literally <laughs> crawled on the tripod. I like, am on the tripod you crawled on. Our, our eight-year-old. Here, this here's Rex. Rex. This, is, this is Rex. Rex breaks hey, everything. Literally, <laughs> literally crawled on the tripod. Sure. Alright, so, um, anyway, it's a skinning knife. It's not your usual type where you've got a a up swept blade where you're pulling the hide uh, on a deer you just put that in between the hide and the meat and zip it's very fast i've been using a different type knife 
you want a thin blade and kudos to uh, Mr. Davidson there. He was willing to make a thin bladed knife. But you will not find a thin blade made by a lot of knife makers. It's more difficult to do. Uh, I was really pleased with that. So they're full tank construction. CPM 154. Quality handles. He made a thin handle for her. She really likes thin handles. I do. It fits my hand better when it's thinner. I don't like a very chunky blade, uh, handle. Mm -hmm. So stainless, full tang. Uh, Scott Davidson Maker. That's a nice little pair of knives. I like it a lot. Yeah. I really do like it. That suits what she does. She does this right here an awful lot. Yeah. When she's boning out stuff. That's especially what I use these little knives for. Boning out uh, when we have deer, or turkey, everything. I just kind of use this and I follow the length of the bone with my finger. Um, and it's it's really nice. Um, I don't like a really big bulky knife. So and it's really sharp. Well, I don't know how to do that on camera. I mean, that's really sharp. Of course, our tomato is kind of old, so the skin is thick. Nice piece of tomato. Oh. And my knife is dirty. Well, it's stainless. And that appears to be a nice kind of finish, so it's corrosion resistant all the way around. I like it. Yeah, good quality sheath. Uh, he makes the sheaths, good quality knives, good fit and finish. You can get a thin blade, apparently, which is really cool. Um, this is a nice left-handed sheath. I'm left-handed, and he would make a left-handed sheath. He embosses the... Uh, That's one of the things that really impressed me about Scott, is out of all the knife makers that I had spoken to, and I had talked to a few over the years, he was probably the only one who asked me uh, if my husband was right-handed or left-handed. Um, and he even admitted that sometimes left-handed folks are uh, overlooked when it comes to knives and stuff. So um, he just went with it. He knew what to do. It was great. You can look him up on Facebook, Rock Solid Knives. Um, but his website is Solid Rock Knives. I'm sorry. I keep saying Rock Solid Knives. It's Solid Rock Knives. SolidRockKnives.com. Well, thanks for visiting us. Hey, Rex, what's the name of the channel? Dura Grocery Store. Bye, y'all. During an earthquake, did y'all see how much I this thing was shaking? I knew that camera all over the place.